as we were thinking of ways of reducing your risk of heart disease, one of the things that we did is calculate what that risk was. And uh, it's shown here out of a thousand people like you. Okay. So out of a thousand people like you, 800, which are shown here in green, will not have a heart attack in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. And 200 people like you will have a heart attack in the next 10 years. We also uh, decided to graph here what is the risk that those people will have a significant bleed in their stomach. Mm -hmm. These are bleeds that take you to the emergency room, require maybe blood transfusions, uh, stay in the hospital for three, four days, but you eventually survive and go home okay. without taking aspirin. This will happen mm -hmm. to about seven people like you in the next 10 years. Okay. Again, there's no way for us to know uh, whether you're one of those who is at risk for that uh, or not. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens if we were to give aspirin to those thousand people? That is shown here. 800 of them in green again will be taking aspirin, but they will have no benefit because they're not at risk of having heart attacks in those 10 years. Of the 200 people that were at risk, you see 106 were destined to have a heart attack. 160 will still get the heart attack despite taking the aspirin regularly. Mm -hmm. 40 of them in yellow here will avoid having the heart attack because they took the aspirin okay. regularly. Now, what is the flip side of taking aspirin? That's shown down here. You can see that in addition to those seven that were destined to have those bleeds in the stomach that were quite severe, mm -hmm. uh, there is now three additional ones that are depicted here in red that will have the, uh, the that, that will have now uh, bleeds in the stomach because they're taking aspirin. Okay. Again, there's no way for us to know if you're one of those people that will in red bleed because mm -hmm. they're taking aspirin or not. Which okay. Are the rest of the folks here in, in out of a thousand people. Okay. So, what are your thoughts? Well, it looks like for 40 people benefiting and then just three people at, you know, possibly having a bleed, um, I, I, think it's worth, I think it's worth that risk for me. Mm -hmm. This benefit, again, is prevention of heart attacks, you right. know, so that's also quite important. Right. Uh, okay, I, I agree with you. What we can do is we can, uh, we can start with some aspirin, baby okay. aspirin, 81 milligrams daily. Okay. And uh, if you were to be concerned about bleed or were to start maybe pain medication for your arthritis or other things that will make you worry about bleed, mm -hmm. let's have a con another conversation. Maybe we can, we can revisit this decision in the future. Okay, that sounds good. Okay.